About three weeks ago now, we released an episode about how the woke abuse the image of God, using it to justify many of their positions, but either incorrectly or just simply not giving the full definition of it. And we, we discussed how the image of God is not based on these simple things that they appeal to, but it's based on God himself, the image of who the image of God, who defines it, God defines it, and it's based on his character attributes. So when they appeal to it, they're not appealing to something about man or in man. They're appealing to something in God that God has shared with humanity. So when we talk about the image of God, we're talking about God, ultimately. Now, I saw a clip posted by the Holy Post podcast and just couldn't let this one go. So let's look at this little clip and see what they have to say about the image of God. Like, wouldn't it have been better if he had said, I'm against Christian nationalism or the, the interplay of faith and the church and the government because I believe in the dignity of all people created in the image of God who should have freedom of conscience to worship and, and believe what they want. Because in such an environment, we also as Christians will be free to express our faith and persuade others. And we believe that in a free market environment like that, more people will come to understand who Jesus is and follow him. We don't need the government's help. Now, there were at least three major errors in that, but we're only going to focus on the image of God. Now, what is he saying about the image of God? Well, he's saying because of the image of God, we need a secular society. That's ultimately what he was saying. We need a secular society, and in a secular society where people have the freedom to worship whatever demons they desire or to reject all the spiritual, that in that, that is where Christianity truly thrives, where it can persuade people. Now, that in and of itself is something that needs to be discussed. But again, we're talking about the appeal to the image of God. And what's disturbing about him appealing to the image of God for people's ability to worship however or whatever they desire? Well, it's simply that ultimately the image of God is not about man. It's about God. God describes himself as a jealous God. He's a God that does not share his position with any other. He does not share worship with any other. He is the only being, not the being most worthy of, but the only being worthy of worship. So if we have in us a reflection of God's character and attributes, and God is the only being worthy of worship, and God does not share worship with another, to appeal to the image of God to say that people can worship whatever or however they want would mean some weird implications about God himself, because he's clearly stated, again, that only he is worthy of worship, and he jealously guards that position, not because he is insecure, but because he is secure. He's the only perfect being. So it's confusing and disturbing that a woke person, in this case, this, this woke podcast, the Holy Post podcast, would appeal to the image of God to say that, that man can worship a demon, that man can worship a, a bloodthirsty demon like Allah, that man can worship false prophets like uh, Joseph Smith and follow Mormonism, that man can reject Christ because of the image of God. Now, this is just an example of the kind of way they use it to appeal to what they desire, their heart's 
desire. And when you put it that way, it's kind of disturbing that their heart's desire is a secular society where God is mocked. And in that, they mock God by appealing to God to kick God out the window. I hope this has been helpful, and God bless you.